Hi and welcome back, it's Vicky here with my One Kit 10 cards. This time I will be working with the July card kit by Simon Says Stamp. And first, let's take a quick look on what's included. First of all, you get the Ami Tangerine Sunshine at Good Times. This is a sticker book, and as you can see, it has so many pages and so many different stickers. And what I love about them is that uh, you don't get that white edge all around those stickers. The edge is actually transparent and you get 162 different stickers. You also get these uh, tiny cute uh, puffy stickers, there are 49 of them. And let's take a look at the stamp set. This is a big stamp set with lovely sentiments and you get a sun, a pineapple, a cactus. Uh, you also get sunglasses to dress up your pineapple or your um, sun. So many different options and there is also a flamingo and they give you also a die to cut it out and pop it on your cards if you want to. Now the 6x6 papers are double sided as you can see. A lovely summer themed paper pad that I will be using a lot in this video since I always get uh, comments on how you can use up your pattern papers. There is also this glitter paper which is really fabulous that I imagine of cutting out a flamingo out of this. You also get an envelope some orange sequence for your shaker cards and embellishing your cards. This is white foam. It is a product by Sizzix and it is um, uh, adhesive, self-adhesive in both sides. And um, you can use it on your uh, die cutting machine and you will find that it cuts beautifully. You also get three card bases. These are pre-cut and pre-scored for you. This is uh, great card base. It is quite thick. It is 120 uh, pounds thickness, which is perfect for your card bases. I'm just going to fold them and have them ready for my cards. And finally, you get cardstock in lovely colors that coordinate perfectly with uh, the rest of uh, the kit. The kit is still available, so you can grab it if you like. But if you want to grab just the stamp set, for example, you can too. You will find links to everything separately down below in the description area. Now I'm working on my first card and I'm using this gorgeous pattern paper. I have just cut out uh, the top on an angle following the line of the string and I'm just going to stick it on top of my card base. For all 10 cards today, I will be using a part of uh, a pattern paper. I know that you will be able to find lots of inspiration on how to use just the stamps, so I will focus today on how you can use up those gorgeous pattern papers. So now I am uh, going to pick up one of those stickers for my sentiment that says yes please in a beautiful shiny gold color and my card is finished. Super simple but really fun. For the second card I'm going to use this gorgeous pattern paper. I have to sacrifice the back of it obviously and uh, this reminds me of the sea so I will use one of my circle dies and I'm going to cut out a circle and I'm going to stamp the fish from the stamp set a couple of times. I actually did stamp it three times later on as I wanted three fish for my card. Now I will uh, color everything with my Zig Clean markers and then I'm going to use my scissors and fuzzy cut all three of those fish. By the way, I'm working on Bristol paper, which is perfect for Zig Clean markers, especially if you want to follow my technique, which is blending uh, the colors with uh, only two markers and not using water at all. Now this is going to be a birthday card, so I have uh, chosen the sentiment from the stamp set that says wishing you a happy birthday. I'm going to stamp with a pale blue ink pad and then I will move on to a second uh, darker color. And I have inked up only the bottom of my sentiment. This is going to give me a nombre look, which I absolutely love. Now this uh, is stamped directly on my card base. So it's time to put everything together. I'm going to stick uh, the circle of the pattern paper 
on top with using foam tip at the back and now I'm going to stick the fish on top. I will make sure that some of them go outside of the circle just for some uh, added interest and uh, you can uh, pretty much follow the same uh, design, the same idea and maybe cut out three different uh, circles from your pattern paper and add every fish on a different circle. Uh, lots and lots of ways to uh, use the same idea and make different cards. Now the stamp set comes with a couple of sets of uh, bubbles which I'm going to stamp with black ink coming out of my fish and then to finish off my card I'm going to use some white Nouveau drops. I'm going to add tiny little dots inside all those uh, bubbles and this is going to finish off my card. Now on to the next one. This time I will use a pattern paper that makes a card on its own with this beautiful scene. So all I'm going to do is to just cut out a piece as a panel for my card, making sure that this is slightly smaller than the standard card so it will leave a lovely border all around. And then you get this pattern paper with those uh, four different uh, beach scenes and uh, there are also strips of uh, sentiments which I am going to cut out one of them to use on this card. I'm keeping everything simple on this card so I'm going to stick this on top of my standard card. I do have the sentiment in place and the card is ready. For the next card I'm going to use uh, one of those scenes from this pattern paper and uh, I'm going to cut out a strip and I'm also going to cut out two of uh, the strips of sentiments from this pattern paper as well. I'm going to stick my uh, pattern paper on top of white cardstock and that's just because I want to have uh, some uh, white border on top and at the bottom. This is going to help my pattern paper to to stand out even more. And now I'm going to put everything together. I'm working directly on my card base and I'm going to stick all the strips of paper that I have cut out. And again, this is a very easy card to recreate and you can make uh, three or four uh, out of this pattern paper using the same design. I'm adding those strips of uh, sentiments on top and at the bottom of my image but uh, if you don't want to stick those strips you can stamp your very own sentiments along the image. With blue ink I stamped the sentiment of vacation time. This is not actually from the same stamp set that comes in the kit. I used one that has just came out from uh, uh, Simon Says Stamp, but of course you can use sentiments from the kit. I just thought that this uh, sentiment was really appropriate for this card. And to finish off my card I'm going to add some clear Nouveau drops along the letters of my sentiment just to make it pop a little bit more. It's going to give some shine. And of course you can use glossy accents for that. Here are some close-up photos of the card and you can see all the photos of all the cards if you visit my blog. If you're watching on YouTube you will find the link down below. So now let's move on to the next card. This time I'm using this lovely pattern paper and I love those warm colors all together. I'm using a rectangle die as well as a circle die. So here I was just making sure that um, the um, pineapple fits inside that circle and I'm going to run it through my Big Shot. Now I'm using my anti-static powder tool because I will be stamping with Versamark ink and then emboss it with white embossing powder. I'm using a sentiment from the stamp set which says you are one cool pineapple. I heat set it with my heat can and now at the back I'm going to stick uh, my acetate. Obviously I'm going for a shaker card and um, I'm going to add my foam tape all around the circle and at the top and at the bottom of my frame. And now I'm adding my sequence directly on top of my card base. I'm going to stick my panel on top and this is where I decided that I needed to add more sequence. So my panel goes on top and my card is pretty much ready. I need to add my pineapple which is supposed to be the focal image on my card so I'm going to stamp it. 
and I am stamping my image with archival link because I am planning to use my Zig markers. I am working on Bristol paper and I find that just because it is so smooth, those uh, markers blend beautifully on top of it. I'm just using a couple of markers for each area and um, I will be using my scissors to cut around my image leaving a tiny little uh, border, white border all around. The border is going to help my pineapple stand against uh, that uh, green background. To finish it off I'm going to add some dots on my pineapple and for that I'm using glitter drops by Nuvo in a gorgeous color which is called honey gold I believe you will find link it down below and here are some close-up photos on all the shine and sparkle moving on to the next card and again I will be using one of the pattern papers I promised I will make the most out of this pattern paper pad from the kit so I will cut out a panel to cover up my card front this is going to be a very quick and simple card again but I don't want to chop off the tiny little images at the top and at the bottom of my card so I cut out this panel in two pieces and this way I can slide them on top and at the bottom leaving a tiny little gap in the middle but this is not to be worried about because I will cover it up with my sentiment later on so I'm going to stick this panel down I'm going to cut uh, a thin strip out of this sentiment and with some foam tape at the back I'm going to stick it where that gap is now as I said in the beginning this video is more focused on how you can create cards using the pattern papers in the kit but if you want more inspiration on how you can use the stamps or create different uh, backgrounds and designs for your stamps then you can go to the Simon's Stamp blog you will find there lots of inspiration in the gallery that is dedicated to this card kit for the next card I'm going to use this scrap that I have from a previous card. I'm going to use the pink side this time and I'm going to place it on top of a white panel. I'm going to chop off the excess from the sides. And now I'm going to play with some stickers. These are from the sticker album included in the kit and I have picked all the cacti that was included there. I love the color combo and um, I am going to combine it with the sentiment that says stuck on you. And uh, this is why I have placed the stamp on top there just to make sure that I will leave enough space to stamp my sentiment. And as I'm putting everything together here, I have a little bit of time to chat. So I wanted to let you know that I will be more slow on posting videos and blog posts during the summer. Since I live in Greece, we spend most of our days by the beach, swimming and playing with the kids and friends and family. And uh, that means that I uh, might be missing in action for days and days. But I will do my best to answer any uh, questions and I will be reading my emails, etc. So now I am adding a thin strip of uh, double sided tape which then I am going to peel off and then stick on top some uh, foiling which is going to bind nicely with the golden details that I have on my cacti stickers. And now it's time to stamp the sentiment that says stuck on you from the stamp set included in the kit. To finish off my card I'm going to add some dots on the flowers of my cacti. I'm using Nouveau Drops in a color which is called Rhubarb Crumble. If I'm pronouncing it correctly you will find it linked down below. It's uh, really gorgeous, it has kind of a metallic shine to it and it is opaque. Hopefully you can see how gorgeous it looks here and it matches perfectly the color of my card base. Now I just had to use the dye and I just had to use the glitter paper and um, however I will try to incorporate one of the pattern papers in this card as well. So I'm using uh, the foam adhesive by Sizzix and I have stuck on top a piece of this glitter paper and I'm going to run it through my Big Shot machine and you can see here that it has cut out beautifully. Just make sure to run it a couple or three times. And there is a little piece there in between those legs which I'm going to poke out. And my little element is ready. This is going to be the focal point for my card. 
Now I'm using a couple of pink shades of ink and I'm going to stamp my sentiment that says be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons and this is a stamp coming from the kit. I'm going to stamp uh, the bottom with uh, my darker color for that ombre look and notice how I blend out just with my finger that uh, rough edge there and now I'm going to use a circle die, run it through my big shot and I will end up with a lovely sentiment in a circle. You can add the sentiment at the center or pretty much anywhere you like. I decided to go at uh, the bottom and I'm going to chop off the excess. So I have uh, quite of, uh, enough space, open space on uh, the top of my circle at the right to stick my flamingo. This is so sparkly in real life. And to finish off my card, I'm going to browse through the pages with those stickers and just try and find a few of them and stick them around my circle. I went with uh, a pink heart with uh, a little flower as well as a fish star. And finally, I gave my flamingo a black eye by using black Nouveau drops. And you can see a close up here of the beautiful pattern paper with the palm trees at the back. A really exotic card. Now at this point I don't have uh, many 6x6 papers on my stash since I have used most of them. So I have to work with this busy one and a great idea of working with really busy ones is to cut out circles all over the place just like I did here. And then since I have all those puffy tiny little stickers I'm going to stick them inside. Now just because all those stickers are real colorful I need to have a contrasting color to help them pop. So I used a piece of white cardstock at the back, just some scrap I had on my table. I'm going to stick this panel on top of my card base and then I'm going to pick some of those stickers that remind me of summer, pretty much all of them do, such as a watermelon, a suitcase, a little strawberry, a cup of coffee because okay, coffee goes for uh, every season. And um, then I am going to stick a little sentiment just from my stars, and my card is finished. So now at this point I only had three pattern papers that I haven't used and this uh, scrap paper. So this one is uh, full of swimming pools and this has a lovely background that feels like a swimming pool. I don't know if you can tell all those little tiles. So I decided to combine those and I'm going to use this banner die to cut out a banner. And from the scrap that I had I cut out this uh, tiny little image that says uh, pool time. And I'm going to stick it on top of my banner. Now if you don't have a banner die, of course you can just use your paper trimmer and use your scissors to create that uh, fishtail at the bottom. I have foam tape at the back of uh, this uh, banner. I'm going to stick it on my panel, chopping off the excess. And I have also cut out a couple of more banners out of white. This is going to contrast against the pool background and I'm going to stick them on top of my panel just to add more interest on my card. To finish off this card I'm going to use some of those bubbles by Pretty Pink Posh and I'm adding dots of white glue all around my card so that I can stick those on top. I get a lot of questions about this pencil. By the way, this is just a wax pencil. I think it is used mainly in nail art, but it is perfect for picking up a little pieces such as this sequence and more. At the moment you can see the white glue underneath, but this is going to dry completely clear and you won't be able to see it in the final photos. And now, like always, let's take a quick look on all the 10 cards that I made for today using products from the July card kit by Simon Says Stamp. One of them is upside down, but anyway, I hope I have inspired you today to use up that pattern paper that comes in your kit to create beautiful and quick cards. And now let's take a look at uh, what's left. Of course, you get uh, your stamp and uh, the die, lots of stickers, and puffy stickers that I haven't used. I still have some of this glitter paper and the foam. 
the envelope. This is the only pattern paper that I haven't used, the one with the, the pink with the flamingos, and I have a few scraps, and I haven't used up all my sequins. So here are some close-up photos of all the cards that I made. Simon's Stamp is giving away one of these card kits through my blog, so make sure to visit my blog and leave me a comment, you will find the link down below. Thank you all so much for joining me today, I hope you had fun and you got inspired, I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you next time.